far as what I had to do, it didn't really have much to do with me. That's what my agency, you know, front office doing whatever they do, they can worry about that. That's what my agent gets 4% for, I'll let them have it. Sid? You mentioned Sid you mentioned on the podcast about reflecting back on last year and the way that it finished. When you had the conversation with Ty uh, prior to Santa Barbara, what was that like for you and, and how much did you need something like that with him? Uh, it just gave me a chance to be honest, man. Uh, I think a lot of times as a player and just trying to, with me as a player, I try and at times just block out what I got going on personally or what I feel like um, I feel like I bring to the table just because I'm thinking about the bigger picture of us being a team and you know you got to try and buy into a role and do all this this other things that could other things on the court that could just help the team win and um, you know when I got to talk to him this summer uh, prior to Santa Barbara it was just that time for me to have a you know just a, a grown-up conversation with him and just let him know you know, can we just sort of knock down the coach player thing right now? Can I just talk to you personally about how I feel, about how everything, you know, finished up last year? And, you know, he gave me the chance to be honest and he let me know that, uh, you know, at any time during the year, if I want to just come in the office and sit down with him, kick everybody out, he said, even if I want to just yell and be crazy, I could do that. So uh, that definitely made me feel a lot better. Does him being a former player help with that? Just because he's probably been at the or no? Yeah, I mean, I hope. Uh, I guess that's why he was, because he seemed ready for me to, you know, say what I had to say. So I guess, I guess that has a lot to do with it. Did you feel better after you got all this out in the open? No, we still lost. So I mean, it's still, you know, either way, uh, we got, we got things we got to do this year. But um, as far as just, you know, coming back. And, you know, with all the rumors and everything that came out and nobody on the you know the organization side coming out to say like Iman didn't say that like you know I, I let him know like I, I felt like it, I was in the dark about everything and I was like I don't really know like all I could think about is you know where where am I gonna be next season you know what I mean so that was that was my concern so I was just like you know able to finally be honest with him and let him know everything that was going on and it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation that nobody got into there was no he say she say it was directly from me directly from him so it was, it was a good conversation so you guys have a lot of guards yeah when when did you hear this nice talk to Ty when did you know that you would still be in this rotation was that like the first day of practice when you looked and saw I'm, I'm still in this or did you talk about going with Ty that uh, no that's what I'm saying I I still feel like even though we have all the guards we have, it just gives us an advantage. You know, I know throughout the year, minutes plays and the you know the age of the guards we have. I'm one of the younger guys, uh, so I know that there's going to be minutes and rotations. I just my more concern is about playoff time and if I feel like you know I need to work on something that'll give me more time on the floor. I felt like during the finals, you know, I wanted to play more. I felt like the game that I played more. Was, I believe game two, and I felt like I was effective, so I wanted to be more part of the game. I felt like I could change the game in different ways. I may not, you know, change it the way another guy did, but I felt like the way we did uh, when I was in the game, it helped us. So that was my concern. I, I don't, as far as having a lot of guys, and I'm, I'm ready to go to war. I don't mind the competition. Uh, they'll tell you every day I come in here, I'm asking when we gonna play 505, when we gonna get up and down. When it's a whistle, gonna stop blowing, and we gonna just get out there and go. I like war, so it's like if I feel like I could be part of the war and I could spill some blood, I'm all for it. But if I feel like they want to go a different direction and you know they want to do some other stuff, I want them to be honest with me going into you know a year where it's an offer. And you know I, I think we had that talk and we were able to be honest, and it helped me a lot with just coming in here and being able to have a, a positive energy and a positive influence on the team. We've obviously never been in your position. Is it unusual to be able to talk to a coach that bluntly, and frankly, is that the first time you've done it with him? And you I mean, uh, with T. Lou, I think it just, it just, you know, it got built up because we didn't have an exit, uh, an exit interview at the end of the year, and that kind of, you know, that was different for me. I'm used to an exit interview, so I felt like that's the time you're able to be honest and, you know, be outside of talking uh, team. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when I didn't have that, you know, it upset me a lot as a player, but. Like I said, we got to have our conversation. He got to tell me, yeah, I just don't, I don't have that. So, you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, 
piss you off, man. I don't usually do that. So when he told me that, I was cool. This may be nothing, you know, for instance, my hair is shorter than when she and I first met. Yeah. But, um, you got your hair? Yeah. Uh, no, my 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 daughter, I, my wife makes me try and do my daughter's hair now, and it's like if she got to do her hair, and then I got to do my daughter's hair, and then I got to do my hair. It's, I don't got time for that. But I got that's an hour getting my hair braided, making sure it's washed, you know, so it looks good. Or I got to keep it from falling over if it's in the high top. I don't got time for that no more. <laughs> we got the championship. I had the high top. I had the ponytail, whatever. We lost the next year. You like your new, you like having the new yeah, I mean, I like my face. <laughs> <laughs> hair, hair and no hair, it's the same face. So, so I'm good. It was either a podcast or 